welcome back to my channel in today's video I have another instant pot recipe for you guys so all the instant pot Haitian recipes that I tried that are successful I'm always gonna come on here and show you guys not every Haitian food you can make in an instant pot but for the most part there's some that are very successful that I've been trying so I have an instant pot Haitian stew chicken for you guys I want to show you the recipe that one can be a little tricky if you put too much water it can definitely be too watery so I'm going to show you guys the exact recipe I use to make my instant pot Haitian chicken okay let me turn the camera around so I can show you guys exactly the ingredients you need to make this recipe so to make this recipe you are going to be needing some chicken I have a whole chicken that I cut up in some pieces I already went ahead and um, clean my chicken with some lime and rinse it with some hot water and I'm using a couple tablespoons of olive oil one packet of sazon if you don't have this don't worry about it I just love using this for extra color in my um, stews and I have one lime I have one onion two Roma tomatoes a piece of pepper poked with some cloves parsley and thyme tied together I have some sour orange juice but if you don't have this and you have the lime juice you can use either or and I have some tomato paste that I'll be using about three to four tablespoons of I have about three to four tablespoons of my Haitian egg piece but this I'll probably only use um, two to three tablespoons of it I have two cups of water and I also will be using some salt and pepper to taste. Of course, you will be needing an instant pot. Please check the description box where I will list everything I used in this video. So let's get cooking, guys. So first thing we are going to do is marinate our chicken. I'm going to go ahead and actually use my tablespoon. That way you guys can see exactly how much um, a piece I put. So here goes one tablespoon and I am going to be using three tablespoons because sometimes I think when I sit in the video and you guys think it looks too much or too little to be exactly what it is so I say this is roughly three tablespoons even though I'm scraping the little that I have behind okay and you are going to be mixing it really well with your meat you can definitely do this with clean hands and I am going to put my size on packet like I said, if you don't have this packet, you don't have to use it. And I like to put in some salt. And I think someone asked me why I don't let my meat marinate when I make Haitian food. You don't have to. I feel like our spice has so much flavor. Even if you don't let the meat marinate, you're still going to end up with great tasting food, okay? So that's op optional if you want to let it marinate for 30 minutes or more you can definitely do that okay totally up to you I do at times and at times I don't okay just make sure everything mixes well it seems like you guys are loving these instant pot recipes which I am glad I'm able to share them with you because I love love using my instant pot definitely a great investment okay and now I'm going to take, I might as well just show you guys exactly how I do it. I'm, on, I'm going to take a tablespoon of that, um, of that orange, sour orange juice. And I still like to use a little bit of that lime juice also, okay. Again, check the description box. That's where I list the accurate measurements. Because sometimes when I'm talking, I mess up. But I always make sure I list the right things for you guys, okay? And if you haven't, please go follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. All the link will be down in the description box for you guys. So I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes while I prepare my Instant Pot so we can get this show going. You want to go ahead and plug in your instant pot and push the saute button. Let that warm up and now we can go ahead and add our oil. Okay. And I am going to brown my chicken. I like to brown my chicken because on the instant pot, you know, you put everything in and then cover it up. But I like my chicken to have a little bit of color. This is why I like to brown it first. 
for six pieces. I might have to do this in two batches just because I did cut up a whole chicken to do this, which is okay with me. Just like that. And once the first batch is done, I'll take it out and do the other batch. And I did go ahead and cut up some um, pieces of bell peppers just because I had some extra bell peppers in my fridge and I wanted to use them. Okay, so you can do that if you'd like. Like I said, I'm going to allow these to kind of get a little bit of color. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of color and then I remove them for the next set and then we can start making the stew chicken. All right guys, as you can see, my chicken is um, got a nice little color to it. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And I still have it set on the saute. And I'm going to add just a little more oil. Nothing much because I don't want my stew to be oily. And now you want to go ahead and add in your tomatoes. And I told you I sliced up some bell peppers. I'm going to put that in there as well. Okay. And also I want to put in my tomato paste. So I'm going to go in with a couple of teaspoons, heaping teaspoon, two and a half teaspoon of tomato paste. Just because I like my sauce to look nice and thick. Okay. And I'm going to allow this to saute for a few minutes. And then once we come back, we're going to deglaze the pan and then bring the chicken right back in. I went ahead and put a little bit of water into that um, bowl that I marinated the chicken in just to deglaze my pan. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to put the whole thing here. And now I'm going to put the chicken right back in. Just like that, mix everything in. And I brown the chicken just because when I make normal Haitian stew chicken, I like to either um, put my chicken underneath the oven to get some color after it's done broiling or some people like to fry the chicken and return it right into that gravy. But because this is an instant pot we are using, we don't have that option. That's why I like to do it ahead. So now you wanna go ahead and put some salt in and put some black pepper. Put enough salt so that your food can be tasteful and put that parsley and thyme and that pepper and put in the rest of your water. I'm only using two cups of water. I find that when I use three cups of water, my um, gravy is not thick enough. The most, maybe two and a half cups of water you should be using, okay? And go ahead and put a little more of that sour orange juice, okay? And of course, it's hard to tell people to taste the liquid when the chicken is not properly cooked, but hey, Haitian people do that all the time, okay? So if you want, if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and do that. If not, you can always taste um, once it's done pressure cooking and you can always add a little bit more salt to it and push the saute button again, okay? So now we are going to put on our lid and we are going to pressure cook this for 25 to 30 minutes. I like to do 25 minutes because I am going to saute it again at the end just to get a little more thickness, but you can do 25 to 30 minutes, okay? Okay guys, as you can see, my stew chicken is pretty much done. I did do a natural release on my Instant Pot and um, after that, after that was done, I went ahead and canceled and then push that saute button again just because I want that gravy to be um, a little thicker. And also, if you have too much oil, you can go ahead and just use a spoon and remove the extra oil, okay? We did not even use that much oil, but still, you know, the chicken have its own fat. And now this is the time where I'd like to add my onions and just let that cook until my gravy is a little thicker because the saute button is basically like 
the um, stove top. So just let it do its thing until it's done. Of course, you want to taste. This is the time where your salt is not enough. You can add a little more salt, okay? But this will do it for this video. Please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment, like, and share. And if you like this type of recipes, let me know down below if you like the Instant Pot recipes. I will try my best to continue to make more. Other than that, stay tuned for some pictures at the end. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys for watching. Please continue to stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.